Just as vaccines are becoming routine, a potential new path to immunity. Give you all the tonight. The study found no additional safety concerns from administering a first shot of Oxford AstraZeneca followed by a Pfizer booster or the other way around when compared to using two doses of the same vaccine. But more people who received mixed doses reported mild to moderate reactions after their second shot. And then you're done. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Gerald Evans says that's a good sign. So one of the things that tells us uh, in a way is that um, there may be a more robust immune response happening with mixing the vaccines. It's an interpretation that is widely supported and if accurate, would give countries, including Canada, vaccine flexibility. The chief trial investigator says it is too soon to say if mixing leads to enhanced immunity, but Matthew Snape says the current data can still influence decisions. One of the things it's telling us is that, for example, you wouldn't want to immunize a ward full of nurses on the same day with a mixed schedule um, because they, you may have higher rates of absentees in the next day. Many Canadians are open to vaccine mixing, especially as provinces pause the use of AstraZeneca over concerns related to rare but serious blood clots or supply limitations. I'll take what comes when it comes. There's some intriguing preliminary evidence to set, suggest that it might be beneficial. Um, and yeah, I, I don't mind a little experiment <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> Any vaccine mixing that does happen would be an exception, not the rule according to the scientific director of Ontario's COVID-19 science advisory table. What we need for that is real data, lab data, on how high, the, how high the antibody levels will be and how the cellular immune reaction will be. More results from the Oxford study are expected in the summer and a Canadian study is in the final approval stages. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, London.